Hello? Yes. Can you speak up, ma'am? I can't hardly hear you. I'm half deaf in the ear. Okay. Yes, I just want to know if uh, somebody would be able to help me with some questions I have. I'm not able to attend church anymore because I'm bedridden. Can you help me? Well, I was wanting to know if I could ask a couple questions about the Bible. Every time I call down to church, I always get an answer machine. Nobody ever calls me back. Okay, what are your questions? You have a Bible on your hand? No. Well, how am I supposed to ask a question if you can't look into it? Well, sir, I pray with people, and I look up scriptures on the computer. Oh, you got the scriptures on the computer? Yes. So if I were to give you a, a verse, you'd better look it up and talk to me about it? Yes. That's wonderful. Uh, can you open up to Hosea chapter 13, verse 16? I need an explanation for this verse. I don't understand it. Okay, hold on. Let me get to the page where I can look that up. Say what? It's Hosea what? Chapter 13, verse 16. is that right down the street from where I live, there's an abortion clinic down there, and I hear all kinds of rambunctious people calling the women murderers and everything else, uh -huh. and here I find this verse in the Bible where it seems to support the idea of abortion. I don't understand this. Well, I mean, what it's talking about, uh, have you read the Old Testament? I've read the Old Testament, the New Testament, I've read the Jehovah Witness magazines, the whole nine yards. Okay. Well, this is speaking about uh, the, the destruction of a city. And well, I understand all that. The problem is, is how God deals with the children and pregnant women, ripping them open and such. Don't you think that's a little extreme? Well, God's ways are higher than our ways, and if you could see through his eyes and see maybe the destruction that would have came about when uh, the little ones grew up, if they were in an evil and rebellious time period, I mean, if that's all that was around it and it infiltrated every bit of that city, and if any part of that city was, was able to live on, it would continue on and it would, it would uh, corrupt another oh. city. Oh, I get it. You're telling me that basically when when God creates people, he knows before they're even born that they're going to end up growing up being bad people. I think that he knows, but he doesn't make that choice for them. Just because he knows doesn't make me mean that he made the choice for them. They had free will. They've got the free will to choose to do evil or do good, to choose God or choose against God. But well, because he knows it doesn't mean that he chose it for them. They chose it themselves. You know, in the book of Romans, it says that Jesus Christ was slain before the foundations of the earth. Before man was even created, God knew that his will would be done in every single thing done. Mm -hmm. So, if that's true, and Jesus Christ was slain before man was made, that means God had to have known there would be a fall. Regardless of whether he knew or not, the whole point is God's ways are higher than our, our ways. And the fact that he wants people that he can live with for eternity, they're going to choose him by their own will and not be a robot that he created and said, look, you know, um, you're going to love me and you don't have a choice. Well, if he did that, then they wouldn't really love him. You have, you can only love somebody by your own free will. You can never make somebody love you. Let me ask you something about that, and that's a good point you make there. Is there anything that you can decide or choose to do that can go outside what the will of God is? I think you can most definitely. There's a scripture in the Bible that says people will say, Lord, Lord, in my name, they will cast out <coughs> demons. They will uh, do all these wonderful, wondrous things in my name. 
but they weren't in his will. They said that it said that they were not in his will. Now, can you show me a, a chapter and verse for that? I'd like to look that up myself. Well, there's two different kinds of will. There's God's perfect will, and then there's God's um, God's what is the word I'm looking for? Yes, but I need a chapter and verse for what you just said. You said that people can go outside of God's will. Can you show me the verse, please? No, I can't because I wouldn't, you know, I know that I've read the Bible, but I don't have every single verse in the Bible. The Bible is way too big for me to memorize, you know, where every single thing is. And I understand why you're asking me, but I'm sorry, I can't give you that. But Fair enough. Yes, but as far as there's God's permissible will and there's God's perfect will. Now, any one of us can fall out of his perfect will for our lives. If we oh, my God. Against oh, ma'am, hold on a second. I just, my cloth and my bag just bursted. Hold on. Okay. Let me clean this up. Oh, man, this smells terrible. Hold on, ma'am, sorry. Oh. All right, I think I adjusted it. There we go. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm having a lot of problems over here. Well, would you like me to just pray for healing for you? Well, you going to pray for God to fix my colostomy bag? I'll pray for healing. You, you pray. think he actually will? Heal your digestive system. You know what a colostomy bag is, don't you? Yes. Well, can you explain things? I, I want to make sure we're on the same page. No, sir. I'm not going to do that. But if you want me to pray for healing for you, I will. All right. Uh, I need that as well. And also, a lot of my functions ain't working like they used to, if you know what I mean. Some of my, uh, you know, my, my functions. Can you pray and see if God will fix that as well? Yes. Okay. All right. What is your name? Huh? What is your name? Craven. What is it? Huh? What Excuse me. I said Craven. Can you speak up? I can't hardly hear you. I'm going to bring this before the Lord, and I just want to let you know He does love you. He yes. loves you more than you will ever, ever, ever know. All right. And He's more powerful and more holy than we can even imagine. And he's so uh, so much above our own thoughts that we can't even fathom what He does. All right. Can you do me a favor? What's that? When you're praying, can you actually give Him my name and tell Him that I need this cloth for me back and fix as well as my functions? If you, I'm going to pray according to his will. What comes out of my mouth is going to be something that I'm praying through him. All right. Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, we love you and we praise your holy name and we thank you that you're the God of the universe, that you are the ruler, dear Lord, of our lives, Lord God. And I thank you, dear Lord, that... Oh, God, I just Lord urinated Lord, myself. Lord, hold on, ma'am, hold on. He that is in the world. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry, I had to wipe myself off. Dear man, that you would fill him with your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name, and that the enemy would be delivered, would be gone in Jesus' name. Praise you, Lord God. Leave that man in Jesus' name. Fill him with your Holy Spirit. Open his eyes to your truth. Show him who you are. Reveal yourself to him, Lord God. Let him have a servant heart towards you. Help him to bow his knee. We love you and we praise you, dear Lord. Deliver him from evil. Deliver him from evil, Lord God, from the enemy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I appreciate that.